Hi there, my name is Brandon Treese. I'm a Solutions Marketing Manager here at Anai. And today you're watching the second episode of a six-part series where we're taking a look at the test challenges associated with defense aircraft and their subsystems. In our last episode, we talked with Jennifer Platt from Tech 180 and talked about the challenges of building test systems for complex subsystems like LRUs. And today, in this episode, I'm here with Eric Metzler, a system architect from Viewpoint Systems, to talk about the challenges with electro-optic systems. So, Eric, welcome. Thanks, Brandon. So, I know a key uh, component of an electro-optic system is, is the focal plane array. So, can we just start by level setting and understanding what a focal plane array is and why it's so hard to test? Yeah, so a uh, focal plane array is really nothing more than, you could think of it as like an image sensor, but uh, more generally they can be used for not only visible light spectrum, but also UV and IR. Um, that connects to a ROIC, or readout IC, um, that allows us to read those images off of the, the FPA. Um, and the reason that that can be so difficult to test is that those ROICs are uh, unique. Sometimes they're custom to the specific application or the company or the product that is, is being used. And so every one is a little bit different. So there is no off-the-shelf uh, system for testing these that can easily interface with every ROIC that is out there. Got it. So a lot of customization required. And I know that you and the team at Viewpoint are really focused on for uh, helping customers build test systems to test these. So how does Viewpoint help with these types of applications? So one of the things that we can do is we can offer uh, a basic set of behaviors that is pretty common across uh, all FPA testing and FPA emulation. And then we can fill in the details of what are these specific interconnects and specific uh, behaviors that a customer might want out of their system. And we can provide them with a uh, roughly 80% complete solution out of the box and then just fill in their specific details to make that a complete solution for them. Got it, so you're really uh, helping get most of the way there and then it allows room for that customizability. That makes total sense. Right. So how does, um, how does your partnership with NI uh, help you in being able to achieve that goal of helping your customers get closer to the, to the end line? Well, one of the big things has been the uh, NI FPGA products and the reconfigurability and flexibility of those products. It allows us to change the personality of those FP, FPGAs for each of the a, FPA emulation uh, projects that we do, and then potentially add on or customize later on to expand for other programs or other products that those customers might be doing. Got it, that makes total sense. So I uh, appreciate you being here with us today. And I want to thank you for uh, watching this episode. If you want to learn more about testing electro-optic applications like the one we we're talking about here today, please take a look at the link in the post. Um, and then be, tu be sure to stay tuned for the next episode where we're going to be talking about the challenges associated with testing the modern engines on aircraft. So until then, have a great day.